us with us tonight. This is William, and he's going to help us. Say hello. Hi. Hi. Right, we're going to make um, something with some leftovers, and now, no doubt, someone yeah. and I have got leftovers from Christmas in the freezer, if you did. And I've still got leftover turkey, and some people may have leftover ham that they froze, and they're not too sure what to do with it. So we're going to use it by putting it in a carbonara. Um, now, I haven't got any leftover ham because we used all ours up, so I'm just going to use a pack of back bacon tonight. So what we've done so far is we've got... So all that we've done so far is um, we've put a pan of salted uh, water on the hob, which has now come to the boil, so we're going to put our dried spaghetti in. Remember, dried pasta is free, but... Um, but the pasta that you find um, in the refrigerated sections, um, they're not free because they've got oil in them. So I'm just going to push my pasta into the water. So the pasta's in um, and that's now going to, to boil. So let's put the timer on for uh, 13 minutes for that and in the meantime we'll get the sauce and the contents ready okay so your first ingredient for this recipe is going to be a red onion which um, you need to finely chop up which William is going to do for us aren't you William? Yeah. Okay, let's just take the eggs. Right, so William has chopped up his red onion. There you go. Okay. And the next thing we need to do is we need to put some fry light in a pan. Okay, so spray your pan with some fry light and then just put your chopped onions in the pan. Right, the next ingredient we're going to um, chop up is going to be two peppers. I've chosen an orange and a red. You can choose what you like. So as you can see, William's done a fantastic job by chopping up our peppers into small pieces. Oh, that's the timer for the pasta, so stop that. And looks good. Yeah, it looks good. And then all you do is you add your peppers to your onions in a pan. Good work. And all you need to do then is you need to add your carefully mushrooms to the pan as well. Mm. And so switch your hub on to medium heat and give that a good stir wheel so that all the vegetables get covered in a little bit of fry light and uh, you start to cook your vegetables down a little bit. Okay, so while your vegetables are sizzling away, you can get your carbonara sauce ready. And oh, William man. has cracked two eggs. So, Will, do you want to put them in the bowl? And with a fork, give that a good beat. Beat the eggs up. Beat, 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 beat. I think that's one is really deep in. Right, great, great. Into the eggs you add three tablespoons of milk and then give that a mix up. Now this can be out of your Healthy Extra A or you can sim this. I'm using this out of my Healthy Extra A for my allowance. Then the next thing to add is half a teaspoon, um, you stir it Will. There you go. Half a teaspoon of um, garlic granules. Oh, that's well. Smells weird. See, he just said it smells good. I said it smells weird. <laughs> right, and some salt and pepper. So a couple of shakes in the bowl. Fine too. A bit more. So actually that was four shakes in the bowl. Okay, good. Uh -oh. Mix. And then you want um, half a teaspoon of mixed dried herbs. 
and then for the final part of your sauce you need 60 grams of cheddar and you just need to um, grate this up again you could use this as your healthy extra A or you could use it as a sin um, I'll sin this so this is going to be um, a dish that's going to serve four um, so that's going to be um, two sins each because I think it's six sins for 60 grams if you uh, just noticed that I reacted a little bit funny is because um, the corner of our chopping board <laughs> started to catch light <laughs> um, but it's alright so Will's still grating but he's off the hob area right away so your vegetables have cooked down for about three to four minutes in the pan and the next thing we need to do is we need to add um, the leftover turkey and ham or bacon that way. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean the obvious thing is make sure that you don't put any um, skin into your your um, dish because um, that's going to be a sin value but the actual meat is free right so the next thing we've stirred that well into our vegetables and we need to add some bits of bacon I'm gonna scrape some of that in there yeah get in there then yeah get in there. <laughs> Give that a stir. Okay, so all the um, the turkey and uh, I've used bacon is in okay. the pan now, and um, just move that over to one side, and because you're just going to do the final part to your sauce. Okay, so the next thing to do is to just put your grated cheese into your egg mixture and give it a stir. <laughs> By the way, the um, spaghetti's come off the hob and uh, that's drained and that's just um, been put to one side um, and we'll be adding that to the meat in a minute. Okay, so the next thing you need to do is you need to take your drained pasta and put your spaghetti in with your meat and then give that a good stir. Okay, so once you've mixed all your meat um, up into the pasta, put your hob right down onto the lowest of the low. And I've got it on the smallest hob, uh, or smallest ring um, on top of my cooker. And all you do is you then tip your egg and milk mixture all over your pan and then just keep stirring. And just keep mixing it so everything gets a good old coat of the cheese and the egg and the milk um, I wouldn't say this is suitable for pregnant women um, due to the egg content um, it's not really being cooked off fully if you know what I mean because it's turned it into a sauce so there we have it our leftover turkey and ham, I've got bacon in mine, um, spaghetti carbonara. Uh, there's going to be only sin values for the cheese. That's the of course if you, I mean you could use your cheese for a healthy extra A or you could use your milk as part of your healthy extra allowance which is what I do so it's out of my daily allowance. It smells amazing. Now I've still got a whole you can't really see but i've got a whole load of spaghetti left over so don't get rid of that you can use that in something else um later on put it in the fridge and then you can warm it up with some boiling so all we need to do now is plate yourself up now this is easily going to serve four people so this is going to do myself my husband um barnaby and I'll have some for lunch. Will Wait. and spaghetti, even though he's cooked this for us tonight. Oh, look at that. That's dinner. Lovely, really lovely. Garlic and bacon. Um, if you're wondering where Will is, he's just gone off to get ready for football because he's got football training. So um, he's dashed off to go and do that. Bless his heart. There we are, all plated up, 
This big portion here is for hubby. There's mine over there. That's Barnaby's and there's still plenty for me for tomorrow for my lunch. So there we have it. Another evening meal using your leftovers from Christmas. Um, and it tastes nothing like Christmas. Um, pasta. Oh, that is so nice. So, so nice. The bacon and, well, or ham with the turkey. This is lovely. Really lovely. Thank you.